Among ducks, the males get all the pizzazz. The drab females get the higher danger of predation while they're brooding eggs. The females mostly look so much like dirty dishwater that learning one from another is hardly worth the trouble. Just know them by the company they keep. The female wood duck, though, is at least easy to recognize because the large white teardrop etched over her eye is unmistakable. Pete Dunn, in his field guide, observes that her grayish flanks, dappled with white, suggest sunlight playing across the forest floor. For the sake of camouflage, that's what she ought to look like, because wood ducks inhabit woods as well as water. They nest in tree cavities or wood duck boxes. The female actually has some lovely colors in her plumage, but she has the good sense most of the time to tuck her sequined petticoats under her plain muslin dress. Mustn't draw the attention of foxes or peregrine falcons, right? That could be fatal. Unlike any other North American duck species, the wood duck regularly raises two broods a year. In fact, I'm wondering if the duck on top of the box is from this female's first brood. Within a day of the duckling's hatching, the mother will be down below calling to her nestlings, coaxing them out of their cavity. And whether the jump be onto water, as in this case, or onto land from even as high as 50 feet up, and maybe a mile from water besides, the ducklings leap. Ain't life wonderful? And you do know, I'm sure, that the female doesn't mind hiding her fancy petticoats. She just wants a family or two.